Hello friends, I want to do a quick little review of this uh, portable drive here. This is a solid state drive, two terabytes for $400, $399 on Amazon. Now that's kind of special because usually for 500 gigs, you pay about $169, maybe $159. And so here you can get two terabytes for $400. The, nothing beats this price right now. I don't want to see does it perform the way it ought to. It says Windows Mac. This is on the back and it's, it claims uh, 40 megabytes if you're using USB 2. I'm, I'm going to be using USB 3. And it says, uh, what are, okay, whoa, 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 okay. 450 megabytes USB VectorTech SSD. Really? Okay, so it's saying it's 450 megabytes. I know there's no way it can be that. My computer, I don't think, will write it that fast. I've got the 5K iMac here. Uh, one from last year, 2017. I bought it. Yeah, I think it was 2000. No, 2016? 2016, maybe. So we're going to test this and see if this uh, thing is really nice. We're gonna it. I like to see particularly how it stacks up against the Samsungs and the... Uh, little sand disc ones I've been using. Now from a size comparison, you can see it comes in a lot larger box. And I can't begin to even understand why, because it, it feels so light. It's like there's almost nothing in there. It's, it's almost the size of one of the My Passports, but it's thinner and it's much lighter. So there's nothing that spins up in there. But there's how the Samsung uh, T5 does in comparison to the size. And then these sand discs, which I've been using for a long time, both of these I highly recommend. They're just really great if you're going to be editing, particularly 4K video, way faster than using a spinning drive of, any, of some sort. But that's how the size is. And it does come with a standard kind of USB 3 cable. So there you go. So here it is. I've opened up the info on it in my Mac. And you can see it's showing 2.05 terabytes. I'm not sure what this used 309 uh, megabytes is. I'm not exactly sure that's some kind of, I have no idea, you know, strange. But it is showing free available capacity 2.05, and here it is where I've opened it. It comes up called Rapid. I didn't name it that. So let's try throwing something onto it, and I'm trying to find, see if i got something big on here I can put on it. Okay, so here is a talk I did with Rich Cove back in August 2016. I think I made some video out of this, but... Uh, it might be on YouTube here, 450, or excuse me, 4.51 gigs. That's probably the biggest thing I've got just free here on my uh, Mac HD. Let's see how long it takes to do this. We'll time it. Okay, so I want to report back some of these speeds. So I copied a 4.51 gig file over to the three different drives. The Samsung came in the slowest. The T5 came in at 32.61 seconds to, cut to, to write that to the Samsung. Uh, the Rapid came in second, no excuse me, the SanDisk came in second at 29.12 uh, seconds and then the Rapid came in at the fastest at 28.46, which just barely edged out the SanDisk and not a whole lot of difference in that in the Samsung, but that's how fast that drive is. So pretty good job there Rapid, I don't I think it'll, time will tell how long it lasts and everything, but two terabytes of ssd that processes video really quickly that's pretty special to have and i love it hey peace to all who watch subscribe to the channel if you like